Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 in the city. So in the last episode we followed James. He's trying guys, he's trying at this whole police thing. He's not amazing yet. I think some of that is on me because I wasn't very good at realizing I actually had to interrogate a suspect, but James made his first arrest. A lot of people were like, it's them over there, it's them over there. But I looked where they were pointing and I couldn't see any suspects, guys. And I wanted to make this episode a little bit more about following Salma rather than following James, but I really want to get him to finish at least his first case, guys. I may go back to the police office and just see, just see if we can get this, this case wrapped up and get James's first big case under his belt. I also want to invite around all of the Dreamhouse clan to come and see the apartment. We'll cook for them. They'll be just like old times. The little Jamesy Bob still lived at home. And you guys have suggested that we switch up Salma's appearance a little bit. You've got a haircut that you have in mind. Which I really, really want to try out on her. So we're going to do that as well. And then finally, I'm really hoping this can be the episode that we move out into a new district. You guys are really keen on the move into the arts district. I like that a lot because they're kind of young and funky. And I think the arts district could work really well. Then after that, they can go to fashion. Then after that, they can finally end up in the baller high roller district, which is exactly where we want to be. So have to get to 5,000 simoleons this episode guys if another rent bill comes in it's gonna make it pretty tough but we'll finally be able to get away from Raj we don't like Raj at all so if you guys are excited for this episode please give it a little cheeky thumbs up and drop some of your ideas for series in the comments below I know that one of you guys suggested that we buy a restaurant and Salma can grow all our herbs and all our ingredients in the garden I love the idea so so much it's something that I really want to do once we get a little bit more cash Maybe it's something that we can do as we build across the series. And also, just a reminder to you guys, I now have a new PC. I now have a Stormforce PC. I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you guys next week. They've kindly asked to sponsor the Sim series because they love it as much as you guys do. So a big thank you to them and check out the description below for a little link on where you can find out more about Stormforce. And guys, let's kick off with some more Sims 4 in the city. <laughs> So this is where we live right now guys with freaking Raj hate that guy so you guys want us to move over here into the arts quarter home to humor and hijinks festival the bohemian arts quarter is beloved by musical musicians not by music artists no matter of creative types then after that guys we go to the fashion and then after that it's uptown we're gonna be an uptown girl okay so we could move to this apartment we would need to pay a thousand pounds a week we need a deposit of 800 pounds. And if we wanted the furnishings, we need an extra 30,000 pounds. Wow, that's a lot of money and it's haunted. We'd get some little neighbors though. Oh wow, that's the only lot available. So you get full neighbors in that house. Okay, and then in this one, you'd need uh, 1,400 a month, guys. That is expensive. The, the furnishings are 70K, are you joking? And we need a pretty massive deposit. I'm thinking 5,000 might not be enough. 5,000, I don't think it's going to be enough for the arts department. For the arts department, the arts district. That one, again, it's that deposit. That's a high deposit. And with the furnishings as well, is going to be pretty expensive. And then this one, okay, this one's a lot cheaper, but it needs TLC. Which is where we are at the moment, and it's not great, guys. Or we've got this one, which has lively neighbors. That is probably the most affordable, guys. That is going to be the most affordable one. Um, that is 14,000 for the furnishings, 500 weekly rent, and a deposit of 1,000. Guys, I know we said the arts district, but I honestly don't know if we can afford it. Which is a shame, because I'd like to go to this. Oh, it's on a quake zone. <gasps> that sounds really cool. Okay, let's just see how much money we can smash out in this episode and see where we are at the end of it, okay? I've got the beanie baby sleeping behind my back here. Being the big fattest bum bum who ever lived. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh, Raj, 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 hello, 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 what are you doing, what are you doing, get, get, get out of our house, that's right, I, I, cause Salma will beat you, she'll beat you, okay, so, you guys have spoken, you guys have spoken, and it is time for the man bun to go, I'm so sad, I like a good man bun guys, but you guys don't like it, so I'm gonna switch him back to the slicked hair, because you guys seem to like that. Ali likes this hairstyle as well. Was it this one or this one? Uh, so there we go. Dashing James has got his little haircut back. What's his daytime outfit? 
I think everyone's due a little bit of a change, guys. You know how much I like to do this. Jeez, James is freaking huge. When did James get so huge? He's like Ali now. Also, why is his hair? Hair, what are you doing? What are you doing, hair? Go back to your to your original style, please. Like, he's so like He is Ali's son. He's a hundred percent Ali's son. I don't know what Charles has to give him because they're all kind of hateful. Oh no, oh no, I hate those. Hate them. No. They're like, what are they doing at the bottom? No, Jesus. It looks like he's off to go line dancing. No, it looks like he's off to beat someone up. Might just have to go for those. I think maybe we'll change his shoeies up. Not to those creations though. There, just some little chill shoes. Jeez, he's... He's huge! Why is he so huge? Okay. Oh, wait, I'm, just make sure that the hair is the same across all of these different ones. Oh no, the top fan has returned! You'll never escape it, guys. It's here to stay. On to Salma. She's in her little J's at the moment. Let's get back into a daytime outfit. Definitely time for her to change her dress. See, I think these dresses are quite cute. Maybe like the shorter version like this. And then there's a few like different colors. There's this one too, what's the difference? They're all like slightly different lengths. Oh wow, that one's actually quite short now I look at it. That's like her teen dress. She could just wear a shirt, like, hello. Oh my gosh, a scary desperate housewife, Salma. This is quite cute. It's like a little cardigan over a dress. I quite like that. Although it looks like a grandma in that color. Oh no, now I feel like she's old beyond her years. <gasps> that's her chef outfit. <gasps> I wonder if that's like a waitress thing. It's actually really cute. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. What pack is that from? <gasps> Is this because they live in the city? Look at this thing. <gasps> Look how, ch like, that's when he moves to the arts district or the fashion district or something, isn't it? To get all fashionable. <gasps> Look at this little cute thing. The summer, so trendy. That could be quite cute with like a high skirt. None of the skirts really go up high enough. I don't know, I'm not feeling it now. No, I'm not feeling it, I kinda hate it, hate it. Okay, I've gone for this like cute little um, sort of cold shoulder top. These cute little heels. I've got some sort of crazy like little flower, flower thing at the back. How good is Salma's butt? Can we just talk about how good her butt is? And then these little jeans. She needs a necklace. She needs a little necklace. <gasps> that looks quite cute. Okay, I'm giving her a little bead necklace. And then, so some of you guys said that we should try the plaits, the double plaits that Jessie wore on Salma with her red hair. And I was kind of thinking, because she's a chef, it would actually make perfect sense for her to tie her hair back in that way because then all of her hair is out of her face but they don't really have the quite the right hair color for her there is some other like tied back hairstyles uh because we could give her like this hair that looks pretty cute it's very red though it's like very dark red she's not really that dark she's more like this kind of a color <gasps> that looks really pretty <gasps> oh we could go for a high ponytail actually oh, it's not very red though Look how much fluff is around the front. It's a very fluffy hairstyle. <gasps> okay, I think we've got it, guys. I think that looks really nice. That probably suits her the best. Look how tiny her forehead is. Not that I'm jealous or anything. And you guys said keep the heavy makeup for Jess. Um, I like that. I think we, we can give her a little bit of makeup, though, and just not go too crazy with it. If we just go for something like that, that's actually quite close to her, like, actual skin tone. It's not, like, a million miles off. The alternative is, like, oh, wait, what? Have I just put both on? Wait, what? That? And... Are they the same? No, okay, there's that, or there's that. I think the other one's nicer. They're really similar, though. <gasps> How pretty does that one look with her eyes, though? No, I think we go for this one. So it's just a tiny little bit of eyeshadow. And then I feel like her lips need something now because they're looking a little bit lost. Just like that. Just like a really, really tiny amount. Maybe she'd be better with her lips closed. Oh no, that's a horrible colour. Like that. There we go. I think she looks really nice. So there we go. A slightly changed up look for James and for Salma. <gasps> Salma, why are you sleeping on the sofa? Where's James? James in the bucket. Why is this leaking? Oh my gosh, James, at least try and repair it, okay? Everything is going wrong in this place. Can we not, like, board up the mouse hole? Like, <laughs> here's a solution, guys. Done. Can't interfere with objects. Oh, is it the light? Go. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, done. That's how you deal with mouse holes, guys. <laughs> the TV is totally unwatchable now, but it doesn't matter, because at least the mouse holes are dealt with. So James is trying to repair this as well. Like, what even is this poor, stupid house that they live in together? Okay, where's everyone's work? So, 
Oh, what? Where's, where's James's days off? He never gets a day off because I'm playing with the other family when it's his day off. But Salma at least has a day off tomorrow. Can we all go to sleep in the beds, please, guys? None of this nonsense. So James will be at work tomorrow, so I think what we'll do is we'll send James off to work and we'll spend the day with Salma. Salma should probably invite her mum round. I don't think her mum has ever been here. She could invite... Oh, why have you woken up angry? From active mice. Oh my gosh. If the mice would just keep it down. Oh no. Complains the landlord, okay? And then it's 2am. Go back to sleep. Oh, look how angry she is. Take an angry poop, James. <laughs> Hello, Husky4422. We're going to have to move the mirror, aren't we? So that the landlord can take a look. Jeez, this mouse problem. My solution did not work, guys. Oh, look, the landlord's sorting out that bit as well. Can she please sort out the mice? Okay, she's putting a trap in the hole. And now she's leaving. All good. Just don't call me again too soon, eh? Well, stop having rats in our apartment, okay? Oh, one thing you guys said that we could do to at least make the kitchen look a little bit better for now is change some of the colors. I mean, it's like you can't really do much for this place, to be honest, guys. It's going to look pretty vile no matter what I do. But the least I can do is try and make it a little bit more stylish. Let's make all these white. White gives the illusion of, of size. That's what I'm thinking. I... <laughs> There's very little you can do to this place, guys. I mean, a big yellow sofa's pretty horrific. A blue. Blue's probably the best you can get away with that. We can change this to... I mean, that's, again, probably the best one. We can at least add a little bit of colour. And that toilet, Jesus Christ. What were they thinking with that? What were they thinking with, like, most of this apartment, to be honest? It's pretty hideous. You can't make that sink look good. You just can't. Oh, my lord. Ugh. It's all so ugly! Guys, it won't be long. We'll, we will try and move away, definitely. Salma's still mad. Mad about those rats. Look how angrily she's chopping. Oh my gosh, chopping up some apples. What are you chopping up apples for? Oh, fruit salad. Oh my gosh. Please. Oh my gosh, I knew, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. She's going to be mad about that now. She, oh, these mice have made her so mad. Angry, angry uh, salad mix in there. At least it's a nice fruit salad for breakfast. Oh my god, she just made the fruit salad and then J James just went and got fish out the fridge. Oh, she's gonna be even madder. Okay, so James has got work today, but what we're gonna do is just... Oh, he's got work at 4pm. Oh my gosh, loads of time to hang out together. We should definitely invite the dream house people. Oh wait, it's just a Thursday in the middle of the day. They're all gonna be at work. All the kiddies and stuff, and Jess is gonna need to go to school. Like, they can't just come around in the day, unfortunately. Maybe they can have a nice little day together. Salma needs to start the day by looking after her plants, though, okay? Okay, so James is playing some country music. As if the flat wasn't bad enough as it already is. He's, he's doing that to us. He's literally doing that to us. That's a special kind of evil, James. He wants to push the limits for one hour while energized. And own two pieces of workout equipment. But we had to sell all the workout equipment to try and move out the horrible apartment. So that's not going to happen. See what we've managed to harvest. Okay. 40. Wow. 40 spinaches. <gasps> can we just like... How can we start selling them? We need the festival to be in town, don't we? The flea market. We need the flea market to come to town. I think when it does come to town, it's literally in our neighborhood. But I don't think I can just set up and start selling stuff, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, James... What for James starts in about an hour? I thought he started at 4pm. Oh no, that's Salma. Okay, so James off to work, but we're gonna leave him. We're gonna leave him to do his work on his own. We're sticking with Salma today, okay? Oh, look who's outside. Who is he talking to? Oh, look, he's talking to himself in the mirror. Because that's just the kind of crazy person he is. Oh, these guys are having a little chitty chat before work. And then there's got to be a way I can sell these. Like, have I got to wait for the flea market to be in town? Also, you guys mentioned that if we buy a restaurant, then we have a garden on the outside. Like, I don't know how you do that. You need to give me some more details about this in the comments below. Because it does sound really, really cool. Look at these two doing little whispers. Oh, look how cute she is. She's so cute. And let's look at little jeans. No. Ah, oh, he's so handsome. I love them. I love them both so much. Okay, James, you're going to work alone. 
At least Salma, Salma likes a man in uniform. So get dressed for work, okay? <gasps> Thank you for downloading Ali and Claire. There we go, police officer. How many... How many downloads does it have now? 2,000 downloads! The children look amazing, Claire. You know what I actually need to do? I need to put these little guys on the gallery, so I will do that, guys. I'm sorry it's been a little while. I will put them on the gallery for you guys. <gasps> Hello, Anzo1990! Okay, what I actually think I'm gonna do is invite round little Mumsy. Invite her to hang out. Because you've not seen her since you've moved in. And maybe you could practice your nice cooking for her. Here we go! We've never actually really met the mum as well. Ah, so this is her mum. Oh, she seems nice. I wonder if she would get on with Claire. We should have invited them all around, but... I don't know if it's a bit awkward for Salma to have the mother-in-law. Well, she's not technically a mother-in-law yet. But to have the mother-in-law there when she's not there. Kind of a little bit... Uh, when James is not there, it's kind of a bit awkward. Okay, mum could come inside. Why don't you cook everybody a nice brunch? Oh, what? She's off. What? I swear, everyone in this game just leaves. She just put her workout gear on and then she ran off. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to complain to the landlord again. Look at this. That is literally like a hazard. It's literally a hazard. The landlord is gonna be so vexed at us by this point, guys. Okay, landlord, you've done your bit. You can go now, okay? <laughs> Okay, do some nice chats with your mum and stuff, since she's here. Compliment her outfit. Lie to her a little bit. Oh my god, landlord, what the hell? You can go now. I don't know why she's still here. Go away. That's how her Salma gets her strong eyebrow game from, guys. Look at mum's eyebrows. Oh gosh, why are you hi I'm, I'm trying to show your eyebrows off. Where's she off? Strong eyebrows, basically, guys. Strong eyebrows. I should really get going now. Okay, bye, mum. I mean, I just cooked you some tacos, but okay. Oh, look at the state of this apartment. Guys, it's so gross. It's so gross. I hate it. I want them to move out. Salma, how can you make some extra money? I mean, you're gardening and you're cooking, but you're not really making any money. Why don't you get really good at singing? Oh my gosh, Salma's gone to work, but she's left breadsticks in the oven. Oh my gosh. Thank God James is home. And look at this kicking off again. Okay, complains to the landlord about that. But he's been promoted to a detective. <gasps> he got a... Did he get a bonus? No, he unlocked some things. Okay. We can basically make our home extra private. Oh my gosh, how loud is that? But, okay, James, you need to go and resume these breadsticks or else the house is going to set on fire. He makes $52 per hour now, at least. He still hasn't solved the case. Get one in the black, solve your first case. Okay, so we do need to start going to work with him at some point. And at least the breadsticks did not burn on fire, okay? So that's one good thing. Little Sal Marino is at work now. Why don't we make her study the master chefs? Oh my gosh, why is this landlord always like wanting to hang out with us? <laughs> she seems nice enough. I mean, she's looking at James pretty intently there. She's like, hey. My Back out of Salma's territory, if you know what I mean. Oh. <gasps> Claire called. I was incoming text message. Claire's wondering if I want to come over. <gasps> okay. He's been invited to Dream House. Ah! I love this. Maybe we can try and steal some things <laughs> and sell them. Although they're just as poor. They are literally just as poor. They're not, but they just need 14,000 pounds. Oh my God, Evie, can you kick me anymore? They need 50, <laughs> look at her paw. Kicking me? They need 14,000 simoleons a month just to survive. <gasps> it's Dream House! Hey, Mum! Give us some huggles and whatnot. Brighten her day. Oh, give us some nice hugs. How cool is this? And look, he turned up in his work outfit. Hanging out with family. Being with family makes everyone feel better most of the time. Oh, it's a social event. I wonder what he has to do. <gasps> Offer gratitude to her. That's nice. Become best friends. Who else is at home? Everybody should be at home. It's night time. What the hell? Oh, look. <gasps> They're best friends. It's Jesse doing some press ups. Go say hey to Jesse. Oh, look. He's in such a nice mood. So James and Ellie are no longer best friends because Claire and because uh, Claire and James are best friends. Go hang out with Jess. Oh, she's come out to see him. Oh, He needs to say hey to everybody while he's here. Twins, where are the twins? 
Claire's watching TV. Are they upstairs? Where are the babies? Where are they? Are they playing outside? There they are! <gasps> Come and see these little guys. Oh, he's chatting with Emma now as well. It's really weird being in the dream house and not being able to, like, do anything. Why is she embarrassed? Who's embarrassed? Oh my gosh, look, look how much he's got going on. Deep connection. Moving on up from getting promoted. He's got a tasty meal that Salma cooked for him. And he's in a nicely decorated apartment. He's feeling good, guys. He's feeling good. Oh, now he's off to go see Emily, too. Through the bed for some reason. I don't know why they're doing it, like, through the bed. But at least he's hanging out with her. No, Ali. I think Ali must be at work, guys. <gasps> they're all playing Mario Kart. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them all. Aww. It's so nice that Claire invited him round so he could hang out with all his sisters, who are all looking very blonde at the moment because of Jesse's new hair. <gasps> guys, it's nearly 12 o'clock at night. I think it's probably time to get home and make sure that we actually see Salma. She finishes work at 1am. James, it's been fun, but you need to give everyone a little hug and say goodbye, okay? Secret handshake with Emily. Hug lovingly with Jesse. And secret handshake with Emma, too. Oh, they did a little hip bump together. It reminds me of, have you ever seen The Parent Trap with, um... Oh my gosh, what's the actress called? She kind of went crazy for a little while. Red hair. Oh! Why can't I remember what it's called? But they have a secret handshake with a butler and they're like... Ch -ch -ch -ch, and they like do this to each side. Okay, that's that's annoyed Evie. But it's such a good movie. Like that's one of my favorite childhood movies, The Parent Trap. Okay, he needs to go home now, James. No, go home. Where are you going? James, Salma's gonna be all alone. Oh, he's giving a little secret handshake to Emma as well. Okay, he didn't want to leave her out. Very cute. But Salma is all home alone and she's kind of vexed. So you need to get back home to her. She's making $16 an hour. And since simoleons are like so... Like their worth is so little. That is a very low wage for poor little Salma Rooney there. Oh, she's already in bed, James. Bad husband... Uh, boyfriend. <laughs> Bad boyfriending there. They're not husband and wife yet. <gasps> okay, so we need to go with him to get his case. But he's not had a chance to have breakfast. Or what? Or have a shower? He's gonna be all gross. Oh, guys. He's gonna be hungry and gross. But we have to go to work with him because he needs to complete a case in order to get a promotion. And promotions come with little bonuses and more money. So we're gonna have to do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he stink. Oh, he stink. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, James. Is there a shower? Yes, there is. Okay, go take a shower. Right, is our suspect still here? Is she like locked up anywhere? No. What do we have to do? I've literally no idea where our suspect is, but it says that we have to uh, discuss theories with a co-worker. So we're gonna chat with this lady here. She's off to go yell at these guys. They're all savage. Where's my person? I arrested somebody. Where are they? Do I have to re-arrest them? Like, he should know her. He can just call her to come over and then arrest her all over again. He's chatting with these guys to see if they can help him about the case. But I don't understand how we get back the girl that was here before, because she's not here anymore. And she's not in my, like, known people list. We're gonna have to issue a new APB, guys. Okay, we're gonna have to go find the suspect again. It's hard being a police officer, guys. Especially with these pay caps and what have you. Okay, we need to look for a suspect that fits our description. <gasps> it's Dia! It's your childhood friend! You might as well just brighten a day. Don't arrest her. Whatever you do, don't arrest her, James, okay? Right, let's have a look in our... Where's our police notebook? Tank top and young adult. He's pointing over that way. Okay, guys, this is the only person that matches the suspect. I think we're gonna have to arrest her. It's not really a tank top, but we're just gonna have to try, Baba. Baba. Oh, believe I don't know why I just called you all Baba. That's why I called Ali. I just came out. He's not here today. I must be missing him. You've lost your friends to try to arrest someone that doesn't match the clues for the case. Oh, guys, we messed up. That's because I called you all Baba. I don't get it. I swear it said red hair and a tank top, guys. Oh, young adult. Oh, no, 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 no. She's an adult. 
Oh no. So it's just, I don't know where I got the red hair from. It is just tank top and adult. Like this girl here with the white eyebrows. Guys, it has to be this person. Okay, I'm gonna arrest them. Do it, James. Yes, okay. We made an arrest. <laughs> Hopefully that's worked this time. Okay, James, no chefing. She's gonna get away if you do that. Fingerprint. Search. Take a mugshot, okay? He just left her outside to go play on her phone. Like, what is he even doing? What is your life, James? Okay, we're doing all this business all over again now. <gasps> Why can't you interrogate her? Because she's in the cell. What? It won't let me interrogate her. Do I have to let her out? She's like gone into there and I can't get her out. Lock in cell. She's already locked in the cell. He can't interrogate her because she's in there. Okay. This has all gone wrong, guys. This has all gone wrong and it's not even my fault this time. We're going to have to go to work the next day and see if it's going to let us do it, but... He did a terrible job! I don't get it! Like, policing is so hard! I just want to get his first case done. <gasps> James is back home and in bed, but look at this. His job performance is only okay. I think we might have to let him become, um, was it an athlete? It may have to happen, guys, because he's not great at this whole policing thing. And this time it wasn't even my fault. Like, there was literally a glitch that stopped it from happening. As long as Raj doesn't kick off this stupid music tonight, hopefully they should get a full night's sleep. Because something wakes him up every night. It's either Raj or it's the rats. We also need to pay the bills. I really want to move. Like, if I can get this case done and he can get promoted, then we can move. That's what we're going to try and do, guys. It's got up for when Salma gets home, so she's not all by herself. You don't want to be coming home at 1am and, like, you don't even get to see your boyfriend. So he's got up and he's getting a little bath for her, which is really nice. <gasps> and she's got promoted! <gasps> she's been promoted to a caterer! She's got a cheeky little bonus. She's got a stainless steel auto pot. She makes $26 per hour now. Bless them, they've not picked jobs that are gonna get them loads of money. But at least they're happy, okay? So why don't you come home and just uh, say hey to James. Then maybe they can do some woo-woos to make themselves feel a little bit better. Oh my gosh, they're getting to bed at 4 a.m. Salma's work has given them like the most messed up sleep schedule in the whole world. But at least they've done some little woo-woos and now they're going to sleep. James, you need to get to sleep as well because you've got work again. <gasps> you oh my gosh! Raj heard them! Clearly you are a terrible and inconsiderate neighbor. You've just made a big mistake. I will remember this. <gasps> as if he's got his ears to the wall listening to them. He's such a weirdo. I hate him. Okay. He's going to go to work in a good mood this time, guys. He ate in the night and he got his fun up with the woo-woos. He, he had his bath and stuff waiting for Salma. He's gone to the toilet. He's eating his breakfast now. He couldn't be in a better mood to go to work. So he's going to smash it today. Join. Okay. Today's the name to crack the case. The case is going to be cracked. CSI style. Right, James. There she is. She's somehow out the cell. It's time to interrogate her, okay? Go on. Don't, she, not, she can't be going on a phone. Uh, interrogation no. time. Gosh. She's like, oh my gosh. Uh. So scary. We're actually going to interrogate this time though. <gasps> okay, walls up. Walls up. <laughs> Look at those eyebrows to try and... Okay, evidence. Uh, show witness oh. statement. She seems Easy tense. Things. Look, at, she's using those eyebrows as a technique. Because you don't know what she's thinking. Oh, she looks nervous, guys. Okay, evidence. Show crime pictures and show fingerprint evidence. You can do some good, cop. Ask politely. So show her everything. Promise a tasty meal. Let's have a look at James. How confident is he feeling? He's been all nice, look. Inter he carried it so nicely. Do you like eggs and bacon? <gasps> do, oh me too. Did you spray paint the house or did you not? <gasps> yeah, I love pancakes. That's his style, guys. It's called the confusion whirlwind. It's just a whirlwind of emotions that she's never going to be able to deal with. You can hear the prisoners yelling. Like, look. He's telling them to shut up. He's telling them all to shut up. He's getting really close. Oh my gosh, just one last thing. Offer her a candy bar. Say, if you tell me, if you give me your word that you did this crime and just hand yourself in, I will give you a Snickers. It appear the suspect appears to be innocent. 
and can be released. Oh my gosh, guys. We actually are no closer to cracking the case. No closer at all. Wow. So that was all just the biggest waste of time in the whole world. Cross-reference with the police database, okay? And then browse the police database. We need some more clues. Red hair! They've always got red hair, guys. They've always got red hair. Wearing slacks. Okay. What's the other clue? Female! Okay. I don't know what slacks are. Like, I feel like... Oh, hey, Darcy. Slacks is like this American thing. In the UK, you don't call things slacks. So I never really understand what they are. But let's have a look. So female, red hair, young adult, tank talk, slap, slacks. No wonder we couldn't do it before. We don't have anywhere near enough clues. Okay. James, I'm gonna have to help you out, babe. You're also gonna have to stay late. Have you seen anybody like that here? Over there? Do we, do we need to then ask him? This is like a chain reaction. Okay, he's pointing over there. I don't get it, guys. There's no one there! Isn't that him right there? Well, it's a girl, so no. <gasps> okay, guys, we've got some more people. We're just looking for that red hair. See, what if she's dyed her hair? Like, look at her. She's not wearing slacks, I don't think. <gasps> she's an adult. Okay, it can't be her. I can hear a, a helicopter outside in real world. So maybe that's the one doing it. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Is that because we accidentally arrested you? <laughs> maybe. Ask this guy. Tank top, young adult, red hair, slacks, female. <laughs> oh my god, guys. They're just pointing any old direction, guys. No one knows. Why am I even asking these plebs? Everyone's pointing in a different direction. It's Jesse! Jesse, help me, please! Jesse Kins, I don't know why you're in this desert, but help. Like, are they slacks? Are they slacks? Young adult, tank top? The only thing that's wrong is the hair colour. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Because the game might just be confusing the hair colours. Because the custom hair, you know what I mean? Oh, Roxy's here with Jess. Oh. oh my gosh, could he be making this any slower? Where is she? Get there faster, James, for God's sake. <laughs> I've told him to jog there. Then arrest her. Unlawful arrest! No! I'm just gonna try and arrest all the young adult females. <laughs> it's the last day on his job anyway, since I think he's gonna have to quit. So I'm Unlawful arrest. <gasps> oh, guys, he's gonna get fired. He's gonna get his ass fired! But he needs to make some more arrests. I really just wanna do one case. One case, is that too much to ask? Jesse, you're a young adult. You're getting arrested. <laughs> You're getting arrested too. <laughs> Even Jesse told him off. <laughs> His job performance is poor. I mean, I, I feel like this is it. This is it, guys. He's definitely lost his job at this point. He's gonna get his butt fired. But nobody matches the description. Like, literally nobody matches the description. It's impossible. He's been to this place, like, to the PBD or whatever it's called twice now. Never has found a sub suspect. Apparently he did an adequate job. Oh my gosh. Guys, forget this. I'm Even if they're not going to fire him, I'm going to fire him. Because he sucks. He sucks. He's not a good police officer. The game's just a little bit glitchy. It's just not going to work out for me, guys. It's just not going to... James was fired! Bad news. Oh, he's very sad. You know what? I need to trim up quickly because you guys say he can die. He has literally been fired from his job. Look. Well, if he wasn't going to fire him, I was going to fire him. James, what can you do to cheer yourself up? Why don't you get a nice, nice meal? Have this beautiful uh, grilled cheese. Watch some, watch some comedy. Make yourself feel a little bit better, okay? Have a little bubble bath to make yourself feel better. Oh, gosh. He needs to complain about his problems. Salma, you need to come home from work soon, okay? Oh, look at her little Chefarino outfit. She's so cute. Oh, James, I'm really worried about him being very sad. Um, why doesn't he invite around Ali? That should cheer him up. Oh, Ali's coming over to look after him. Oh, I feel so sad for him. Oh, James. 
months. Oh, nobody wants to get fired. Nobody wants to get fired. You need to pay me bills. And you need to find a job. Poor James. Is his dad here? No, oh, where's Ali? There he is. Oh, go give him a hug. Oh, Salma's home now as well. Okay, this is the job you always should have got, okay? You're gonna be an athlete now. That should make you feel better. And why don't you... Can you jog to... Can you, um... Speak to him to try and make yourself feel better? Complain about problems. Ask him for some advice. That should help. Oh, poor James. I feel so sad. Look his face. James, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, look at Ali just nodding. He's like, I understand. I understand. Where's Salma? Salma, why don't you go give him a brighten his day? Give him a hug. Look at her. Hello. It's very like her. Oh, he just, Hello. even though he's sad, he blew her a kiss. That's so freaking cute. Oh, uh, Why does he look so mad yeah. about that? It was like I was having a really good chat with James. Oh, oh surely he's feeling better now. Clever yeah, look, they've got him in a playful too. mood. He's still sad, but he can't be Ten sad with his lovely family around who just want to make him feel better. <laughs> oh, look at them. Making him feel good. God. Oh, I just think, I think salma has got Two better hours now. Us. Three till 11. Definitely an improvement, guys. <gasps> and they've got their 5,000 simoleons. Oh, look, at, look at Ali just like DJing. DJing. So I think, I think they can move in the next episode. I think they've done a really good job about making James feel a lot better about himself. Because he, he had a very tough day, guys. Oh, look. Boring work. Work was boring. Another boring day doing boring things. I got quite worried then because Sims can die from sadness. I'm pretty sure they can. You guys have told me they can. But luckily the family came through and have put him in a good mood. He's heading to bed in a much better place than he was before. And he will be starting his new job on Tuesday as a team mascot in the athlete career. Which some of you guys told me I should have been putting him in all along. So... Hopefully he's going to feel a little bit better. I'm very sad that he got fired. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We will be moving into... I think we decided that there was another one in the fashion district that we would be able to afford. So they'll be moving to the fashion district. Hopefully, hopefully in the next episode, we're going to sell everything in the apartment. You guys have recommended that we do that so we get enough money to hopefully buy the next place furnished. This place will not be furnished, however. It will have nothing in it at all. If you guys are looking forward to it, don't forget to tune in to the next episode of Sims in the City. And I'll see you guys then. Bye.